Hey fam, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nai, where we talk filmmaking, photography, and travel. Now, if that tickles your fancy, support the channel by gently tapping that subscribe button. I appreciate you. So, Motion VFX dropped another new subscription based service. Yep. You heard that right another subscription based service this one is called design studio not to get confused with the first one which is called cine studio now this video is going to be a little bit longer than normal so we're going to include chapters in the description and also if you want to try design studio out for yourself for two weeks we also have a link down below in the description as well so as you can see from the website itself, it says Design Studio unlocks limitless creation with thousands of top quality motion design elements. Just a drag and a drop away from your timeline. And the big thing is you get 4,000 top quality elements, AI based caption tool for Final Cut Pro, easy and quick drag and drop workflows. Now, if you scroll down, this is the pricing piece. And that's, so you have the option of monthly and monthly design studio essentials is 29 per month. You have the 14 day free trial. And like I said, there's a link down below in the description if you wanted to try it out yourself, just like myself. This gives you 3,100 motion design elements and it's saying that it's worth $3,900 if you bought the packages alone as a standalone and it gives you M caption AI with 50 caption styles and 90 plus languages the design studio professional is 49 per month and it gives you 3600 motion design elements and it's worth $4,750 if you bought them as a standalone. Gives you M Caption AI with 50 caption styles plus 90 plus languages. It gives you collections designed by famous YouTubers. For example, MKB, HB, I Justine, YC Imaging, Peter Lindridge. Hopefully, I didn't butcher that too bad, Peter. Uh, and 750 trackable elements with M Tracker service precision and access to freeze frame. Now, if you toggle over to annual, as you can see, the price drops and then it's 15 per month and then it's 24 per month. And then if you scroll down just a little bit, and like I said, I have Design Studio, which I already paid for for a year and I'm trying, I'm doing a two week trial on the design studio, but if you want it to, as you can see here, I'm not gonna go through all of it here, but you have the different options to kind of pick and choose what you want between uh, design studio and cine studio, and then the different prices. And then, these are all the different types of packages that you'll be able to download with this program. The one thing I do want to, I must scroll, keep on scrolling down. With most AI programs, it requires a lot from your computer. Um, and so here it says technical specification. Minimal requirements is a Mac OS Big Sur 11.7.10 and Final Cut Pro 10.6.5. And then recommended hardware is a Mac with Apple Silicon and the Intel versions are not supported. Now, once you hit the subscribe button, it'll take you here where it asks you to download the M extension. So just go ahead and click that. Wait for it to download. And then I'm just gonna fast forward this part here because this is just the installation of the extension. 
Now, once you get the extension installed, you just want to go up to this little top piece here. Go to M captions. Wait for it to load. There's a couple ways you can do. You can drag your library or you can, if you've already exported the video, you can drag and drop it that way and then just hit analyze video. And you just got to give it a few moments for the AI to detect the language and then generate your captions. And this, depending on the GPU and CPU of your laptop, will determine how fast and slow this will take. And then as you can see, once it's complete, on the right side is your different text. And as you can see here, under more settings, you can do word by word, animation in, animation out, and a few other feature. We selected the long shadow, and then we're gonna just change it to our our color theme of the mustard yellow and then from here you can add to your library and then you can drag from here or add to library or your other options and then you just have to choose which library you want to add it to And then as you can see here, you got a new event. The library itself says MCaption AI project. And voila. Um, it didn't, it's supposed to go word by word, but it's not doing that. Hmm. But as you can see, I mean, the caption is generated. They've put it into a compound clip. If you're still watching, support the channel by gently tapping that subscribe button and turning on notifications so you know when I drop a new video. We have a goal of 1,000 subscribers. And as you can see, we got some work to do. So I appreciate any help I can get. Now let's get back to the video. So if we go here, go down to M extensions. As you can see, these are all of your different collections here. I mean, there is a ton. And then your elements are all in here. You got intros, overlays, placeholders, social media, transitions, typography. And then your library, as you can see, I've already downloaded the MTuber 4 collection. Uh, I used that on my previous video. And with these guys here, so let's say if you want it. Um, hmm. Let's see, what do we want to use for this next? Actually, let's just download the thing. Let's just grab anything. As you can see here, so if you go to this package, you can hit download. And as you can see, it says 28 downloads left for today. Only 28 of 50 M elements can be grabbed right now. Download 28 items. And we're gonna fast forward this downloading part as well, because we don't want you guys waiting. Oh. As you can see, it's, I guess because I'm on the trial, it says trial download limit exceeded. Wow. Oh. Okay. 
Well, anyways, let's just go back. And so if you download the pack, let's just say for example, the MTuber plugin pack that you download. So then it gives you the different options here. So you got the typography, the social media piece, the placeholder, the overlay, the intros, camera movements, backgrounds, and so on and so forth. So all you really have to do is, you know, whatever you want, you can literally, this is the part that's really easy, right? You can just drag and drop it onto your timeline. And this is where you would probably have to kind of restructure your layout so that it's not covering up your workspace. But as you can see, let's just go ahead and crop this part out here. And because it's tutorial purposes, we're just... So there you go. Something like that. Or if you didn't like that, you can just delete. And you can go to your overlay. H. As you can see, it goes in there. This is the overlay effect. And once you place it in, as you can see, you can always drag. What it does is it kind of darkens everywhere else and then it shines a light right here. So you can always do that. And then when you get to your inspector here on the side, you have your different options in terms of customizations and stuff. But yeah, that is M, M, not M. I'm thinking of the packs. Now that's Motion VFX Design Studio. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you can do, but for length of video and not diving too deep and not absorbing too much of your time, uh, that is Design Studio as a quick, very quick overview. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. If you've made it this far, consider supporting the channel by gently tapping the subscribe button. Feel free to like, comment, and you can even share the channel as well. Now, if you like this video, we got a whole playlist over here. Thanks fam. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you on the next video.